102 years later, the pain is still there. The Armenian community of Jerusalem has once again commemorated this tragic event, the genocide of over a million and a half Armenians. For the occasion, a mass presided over by Father Nirsa Aloyan was celebrated in the Armenian Cathedral of the Old City of Jerusalem in the presence of many faithful. The feeling is uh, a very emotional. Uh, on the centennial of the Armenian Genocide in uh, 2015, the victims of Armenian Genocide were canonized. And from then on, all our victims were canonized. And we celebrate also as a feast because they are for now for us, they are martyrs and they are declared as saints. And we ask their bliss, blessing in all our efforts to achieve the international recognition. 102 years have passed since the genocide, and this is no small thing. We have not only suffered a massacre, the Ottomans also expelled us from our homeland, the homeland of the Armenian people for over 3,000 years. And today we live in the diaspora. We do not want the Armenian people to forget the life they had before. We must fight to recover that life and claim our rights. They alternated between uninterrupted prayer and moments of silence. On the faces of the faithful present, the indelible memory of the suffering of a people still in diaspora. The most important thing for me is never forget the tragedy of our grandparents and our fathers, the tragedy of that massacre. 102 years later, we ask Turkey to recognize this massacre and we continue to fight to claim our rights. The Armenian Genocide is one of the first massacres in history and it must be recognized by the whole world without exception. At the end of the celebration, facing the seven crosses which represent the memory of that massacre, the Armenian community embraced the recollection of that tragic event, so that this tragic mystery of iniquity, as pointed out by Pope Francis during his visit to Armenia last year, that people suffered in their flesh, remains as a warning so that the world will never fall again into the spiral of such horrors.